I'm going to share with you the absolute best vitamin for arthritis. And I'm not talking about vitamin D. Vitamin D is great, but there's something else that's amazing. I stumbled on this by accident. I was taking this vitamin. I never took it before. Go to sleep, wake up. And I just noticed like all this stiffness that I would normally have because of all the injuries to my spine. It's like someone to put WD-40 in my joints. I'm like, why am I feeling so loose? So I'm like, oh, I took that vitamin the day before. So with arthritis, you have inflammation, breakdown of the cartilage, you have wear and tear, you have pain. People are taking NSAIDs to get rid of inflammation. The problem is there's some side effects, GI bleeding, ulcers, kidney problems, things like that. If you take a steroid, the side effect is it'll destroy your joints, it'll lower your immune system. So is there something that you could take that doesn't have these adverse effects? And the answer is yes specifically in the mitochondria. And it's a precursor to this molecule called NAD. NAD is kind of a helper molecule for turning food into energy like ATP. And so we're talking about uh, biochemistry here. We're talking about uh, helping move these things called electrons, which are really unusable until you package them into a certain energy form. So that's what NAD helps you with. And NAD is involved in over 400 different genes. So it's a really important molecule. And I'm going to talk about first what happens when you're deficient in NAD. All right. Number one, you're going to have low collagen repair. Number two, you're going to have inflammation. Number three, you're going to have fatigue because you're not going to be able to make energy. Number four, you're going to have muscle pain, muscle weakness, and even loss of muscle. Number five, you'll have metabolic diseases, right? And that could range anywhere from diabetes, Alzheimer's, even cancer. Next one is aging faster than you should, because if you can't repair the DNA, you're going to age faster. And then the next one is lowered immune system. But aspirin targets something in your cells that helps make proteins and certain types of fats. Well, it just so happens that this vitamin that I'm about to reveal does a similar thing to aspirin, but without the side effects, it helps to reduce the oxidative stress in the endoplasmic reticulum. So that's very interesting. So that's probably why my neck is so loose right now, which I'm very excited about. All right, so what is this vitamin called? Vitamin B3, niacinamide. There's two versions of B3. You have niacin, and you have niacinamide. Niacin is really good for uh, lipids and cholesterol and all that stuff. Niacinamide works more on inflammation, arthritis, and many other things as well. And so niacinamide, so here's how you'd want to take it. You'd want to take smaller amounts of it through the day than higher amounts once a day. So maybe you take 100 to 150 milligrams three to six times a day, depending on how severe your arthritis is. So in other words, taking a little bit more niacinamide through the day helps to allow your biochemistry to work a lot better, despite having these genetic issues. They're called polymorphisms. Okay, a couple other things about this. You'd want to make sure you have sufficient protein for it to work, because you need protein, right? It's like the building block to help you repair the joint. Also, make sure you're not drinking any alcohol. I don't know if you've know this, but uh, tryptophan can convert to B3 as well. But the efficiency of that is not very efficient. Uh, it takes like 60 times the units of tryptophan to turn into one unit of B3. A lot of times people are not getting that conversion, despite all the problems in the diet, especially if you consume a lot of corn, that can block your um, tryptophan. And also, if you're eating junk foods and things like that, you can definitely easily be deficient in vitamin B3. But I just wanted to give you the mechanism of how this niacinamide works, and I'm liking it a lot. And uh, I, I think out of all the things that I've taken, and I'm not telling you not to take other things like vitamin D, and, but this uh, niacinamide is just fascinating. I'm not recommending taking it right before bed at first. You know, you want to kind of gradually work into it, maybe earlier in the day, but 
There's some people that say that just helps them sleep. Niacinamide also helps to give you energy to exercise, which is really cool. But I wanted to just kind of focus in on this uh, natural remedy for arthritis that, boy, if you have arthritis, it sure is nice to have something that is um, non-toxic, that's effective, and that is very low cost. Now, if you wanted to know the number one anti-inflammatory food you should be eating, you should probably check out this video right here.